I do want to quickly get to the Juju Smith-Schuster comments and how overblown that they are. When I first read them, I was like, wow, this is going to be bulletin board material for the Browns. I'm going to read his full quote and then explain the context of what the quote means. So he was asked about playing the Browns for the third time this season, something I asked you about on our last episode of the Believe in Steelers podcast of what that's like as a player to play a division rival three times in a season. It doesn't happen all that often. Right. So Juju said, and I'm going to read his full quote. He says, they're still the same Browns team we play every year. They're nameless gray faces. The Browns are the Browns. They're a good team. I'm just happy we're playing them again this Sunday. And so I hear the nameless gray faces is what's making headlines on blogs and websites and newspapers today. And some people in Cleveland might think that that's a disrespectful shot at Cleveland. If you know anything about Mike Tomlin, Nameless gray faces is something he has said at the podium during news conferences over and over and over again. It's one of his slogans. Another one that he uses is the standard is the standard. And so it's about what he, his team is from a Steelers standpoint is doing not about the other team. That's what that means. And so I, I I just don't understand how this has blown up to be a story. Maybe Juju could have phrased it a little bit better, but this is nothing different than his head coach has said for years. He just put a high head coach talk to the team. Like the man ain't lying. See, this 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 what I don't like. You you finally get an invite to the tournament out of goddamn 20 years. That's how I look at it. So you get an invite to the party. You ain't, you ain't been getting invites. Pittsburgh been getting invites to the parties for the past, I don't even know when, man. Since since 2000, they've been getting these playoff invites. I, I guess they missed like three. Invites in about 20 years. Pittsburgh missed three invites in 20 years, and that's to the playoffs. Cleveland haven't had an invite since I don't know when to the playoffs. So now, so now you're gonna let the media dictate. And you shouldn't know what Coach Tomlin said. You shouldn't know what a slogan for Coach Tomlin is if you're in Cleveland. And I get that part, because all I'm gonna know is is what Coach Stefanski like to say in his meetings. I, I get that totally. But at the same time, man, boy, we've been blowing up Juju for the past. We've been blowing up Juju for the past three weeks, whether that's the dancing part or what he's saying. And Juju has been coming up the past three weeks, <laughs> past three weeks. Now, he might not catch a touchdown into the or he, not, he, he might not convert down until it's needed in the fourth quarter. But at the same time, man, like Cleveland, Cleveland, bro, like Coach T been saying this. And, and I get it if y'all mad. And I get it like this bulletin board material. But it's not. Y'all haven't been in the tournament since I don't know when. Y'all haven't got an invitation since I don't know when. Pittsburgh, other than Pittsburgh, New England, um, Seattle, Green Bay, KC. They, they, they've been in the tournament, Baltimore. They, they've been in the tournament. They've been getting invites for the longest. So fall back. Cleveland fans fall all the way back. Y'all got an invite. Y'all happy. I get it. But this definitely, definitely not no bulletin board material. Ike, let me push back from this sense a little bit here. You mentioned that if you're, say, a Browns beat writer, you might not be as well-versed in what goes on and that you're not covering the Steelers. Mike Tomlin's been in the division for 14 years. It's not like he's the first-year head coach of the Steelers has some general knowledge of what goes on in the division. So when I first saw the quote, Ike, at first I was like, huh, maybe he did say that. But I read it it wasn't the full quote. And you see the nameless gray faces, and that's what you're going to see between now and the game Sunday night, and not saying that he also said that they're a good football team. And why wouldn't he want to play the Browns again, considering that he just lost to the Browns in week 17? It's a non-story. Let's move on. 